Good morning, guys. So, today is a very impromptu video. <sighs> I hate to say it, like a lot of my videos are, but I have an abundance of kale and I have already dehydrated over a gallon of kale plus eating it. So, today we're going to do something fun and we're going to make kale chips. I love making vegetable chips. They're so easy. They're so versatile and they're just delicious. So I hope you stick around. It's going to be a super easy recipe. All right. So this recipe really could not be more simple and it's so easy. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I have just washed and patted dry some kale and I took off the big woody stems. So those have been removed and I just have them in a nice even layer on a baking sheet. And then are you ready for how easy it is? Take you some olive oil. And we are just going to kind of liberally douse in some olive oil. Okay. And it's really going to help everything crisp up. Just kind of get everything coated and then spread back out. Okay, and now you can get real creative. You can do Mexican flavors. You can do Italian, uh, curry. I personally, my favorite is just garlic. I love making garlic flavored and then adding like Parmesan cheese at the end. You obviously don't have to add the Parmesan cheese, but it just adds like the saltiness to go with what we're doing here. It's pretty amazing. I highly recommend it. So, the two favorites that I have, which these are both store-bought, but you could totally make them yourself. I just got them for a super cheap, like, clearance. So, there's a garlic and onion, and then I also have a roasted garlic, I don't know if you can see that, roasted garlic red bell pepper. So, like, this one has, which I still have more, uh, kale, so I'm doing one of each. But this one has garlic, black pepper, red bell pepper, onion, coriander, sage, thyme, and marjoram. And then the garlic and onion is just garlic, salt, onion, red bell pepper, carrot, turmeric, parsley, black pepper, coriander, oregano, cumin, sage, and chives. Both are very good. But all we're wanting to do, and you could just use garlic powder. Or whatever you have on hand we are going to sprinkle 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 get everything coated oh. and then actually don't use my hands because it'll just stick all that flavor will just stick right to my hands. Okay, let's see. Good job. Okay, so 350 degree oven, and I'm going to start this at 10 minutes and then check. The thing about making uh, vegetable chips in general, in my own experience, is they go from done to burnt really fast so I'm gonna start at 10 see where we're at and then just watch it carefully and so I'll tell you here in a second how long it took for this um, it's a 10 by 15 filled I'll tell you how long that took to cook okay these went for exactly 18 minutes and they are nice and crispy that's not burnt that's just where we had the olive oil on it but I'm telling you, lastly, add some Parmesan cheese. No judgment as to how much. It can be fresh off the rind. It can be shelf stable until opened. And then get you a piece. Just look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Our hope 
You can hear that crunch. These are so good. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I'm now going to eat <laughs> my breakfast. Yum.